is going on guys big welcome to you all to our channel we are team crushing the meta and today we are here with another deck profile so if you haven't seen our other mega colony deck profile where we actually made a deck with dark face Kritora, that plays around going to different finishers it could go to Gizi, it could rush with sazan it could also finish with the mega only strike being Gridora's or other strides but also, you could just let your opponent deck out. You could destroy their plays. You could just make them hate the game. <laughs> and now we come back and we make the same deck, but now with Venom. So some cards, actually, you change them. But when the deck change, then you ask yourself the question, do I still want Sazen and deck or not? Because if you really focus on having Venom, Venom works very good with Gizu. But then again, when you play Giza, you already play lots of Vanillas because of the shield value that your Great Ones have. So you could still add Zaz onto the deck. But again, you don't play the Cradle Marker, so there is no consistent way to add Zaz onto the hand. So, more or less, it becomes a fun deck. For the player who plays it, but not for the player who plays against it. Talking about the fun deck, does it still win? Well, yes. Why? Because it has lots of finishers. It could rush, it could kill with Gizi, it could kill with Soa, it could even kill on the stride herself, which is Gridora. So, all of that being said, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. If you haven't seen the other deck profile where we featured the Dark Face build, you could check it out as well. And now we will go fast straight through this deck. These videos will take about five minutes from the start of the deck profile. And uh, with that, we'll actually go very fast. And if you want to know more, don't forget to let us know in the comment section below. So we will start with your starter, which is of course Neon Gize. Neon Gize will turn into Gize in the right timing. But for now, it's the starter. Then we jump into the grade 3s. Of course, we play the four copies of Venom. He is your main grade 3 that you want to go into. Sometimes you keep staying on him. You don't strike because you want to get his skill off. But he also gives life to the deck because now if you go first, you actually could do something with Venom, which is very good with easy. And then to add into the grade 3s, we play three of the new scissors and of course three of the end line. Why do we keep playing end line? Because he's very good with Soa. And three on three is good because this adds to the rush um, when you want to really rush your opponent to kill. And this of course, it works very well with Soa. So now you have a combination of the two. For the grade two lineup, of course, we finally, or me at least, finally have Mantis after the reprint. So now I could play him. It's a very good card. If you don't play the dark face build, then this is the card that you want to play out for. You also want to be very, very, very specific with when to use your counter blasts and when not. So you have to be smart about this, but adding four to the deck is actually very good. Now we also add this card. Why do we keep playing him? Because he could put your grade threes into your soul. As though Venom could actually also do it, but it's really good to do that because... Don't forget with your antline, you still want a great ring in your soul. And sometimes you stride on Venom. So this would be the card that puts those great threes into your soul because you don't want to ride multiple times because you want to stride or ultimate stride. And with that, you need actually a Venom in your hand. And there is no consistent way to add them into your hand except with Mantis or with your great one stride forward. Then we play two of the 12k... Um, Vanillas, because of course we play Sasa and we need some Vanillas. And also to be, sh yeah, there are no other great twos that you really want to add to the deck. And I didn't want to play less than 10. Then we play four copies of the Stride Folder or the Great 3 Searcher, the new Great 3 Searcher. This card is good because it, it gives you the ability to add the right Great 3 to your deck. Uh, from the top five, of course, but it's good because all of your Great 3s are good. And definitely you want to add the second venom into your hand but also adding the end line is good because you need to use it with so on this card also could get the extra 5k which is good then we play two of the counter chargers the new one i didn't feel it was necessary to add the third one in here or fourth but if you feel like you need more counter charges you could do that 
and uh, this is the right card to do it because it gives you the counter charge right away. Then we add in six vanillas, uh, two of each, because why not? I like that. And um, we play, of course, the one Zaza. For the trigger lineup, we go with uh, four of the videos, and then we add in uh, lots of crits, four of the stride crits, two of the sentinel crits, one of the crits that goes to Soul Gift Power to your Vanguard and draws your card, one vanilla, then we add in the two vanilla draw triggers and two of the uh, sentinel PGs. All right, strikes. Of course, we start with the uh, zero dragons. So we have Zoa, the most important one, which you will flip as last because, of course, you could finish with Zoa. Uh, then we have uh, Dust, we have, uh, of course, Ultima, we have a Megiddo, and we have Drachma. There is one which I don't have and I will never play because I have a rule, and that's, of course, uh, the only zero dragon that could restand without restanding. <laughs> uh, for the other strides, we play two Cyclones, uh, because again, you play those of Vanillas, and this is a very good flip target for your one and only uh, Gridora stride. So, because you actually always flip something with Gridora, it's good to flip the Cyclone. Uh, you flip the Cyclone, of course, with uh, Zazan, and uh, it's really good because it powers up your Vanillas. And then we come, to, of course, to the Gridora stride. This card is really good. Uh, your opponent could not G-guard on that turn, your opponent could not um, make their plays, and it also gives you the ability to rush. You don't have to play this deck uh, without giving your opponent counter blasts and stuff. You could actually just go all out and then finish them off with Soa or just with your strides. Uh, then we add one overwhelm. The card is actually better than most people think and that's because people sometimes don't call lots of rare guards and that's when you get the access to the full ability when you get the extra drive check and crit extra drive check in Gizu is good because you get more chances to get your triggers whereas you also draw an extra card as in your drive check and extra card so again very 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 effective it's good to play her at least at one then we add in one of the newer strides uh, this card could actually punish your opponent very hard. Uh, sometimes when you actually activate the ability, your opponent will be just flipping their G Guardians, which is good because they would not be able to guard Soa or less effectively guard Soa. So yeah, it is definitely a very good card if you use it at the right timing, but most of the time, this is just another flip target. Uh, for the G Guardians, we play one of each. Uh, I already explained this in the last video, but pretty much these two, this for the counter charge, the soul charge, very good. This is just to punish your opponent if they forget that you have this in here. And this is to add to your G um, count of the cards that you have in your G zone, of course. And uh, that is actually pretty much it. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thank you for tuning in our channel. And if you have any questions that you want to ask, if you want explanation on how to play the deck or anything else, let us know in the comment section below and we will try to cover it. Thank you guys. Until next time.